Hello there, I'm Lord James McCall and you're watching You Have Issues, a programme all about comics. Well, this is a new format of an episode I'll be able to do more frequently alongside the regular episodes. It's voiceover only, so you can open up another tab and have me on in the background and you'll get the same experience. You just won't have to put up with my big hairy face until the next video episode. But this way, I'll be able to produce more content in comparison to the regular episodes, which take a lot of planning and whatnot. One of my viewers by the name of Tevya Smolka requested that I talk to you all about my thoughts on DC Rebirth. I wrote down a few notes when I read it, but I didn't get a chance to expand on them, and Tevia unintentionally kicked me up the ass to do so. That's not a bad thing, I need a gentle push in the right direction now and again. Anyway, I digress. DC Rebirth. Well, I'm not sure what else to feel about it other than it's absolutely stuffed to the brim with feels. Yes, I know I sound like an absolute bellend when I say that, but you know what? It's true. It's full of so many goddamn feels because to me it feels like a noble and impressive effort to undo all the shit that DC have done with the New 52 for the past five years. Wally West as Kid Flash narrated the entire issue, which was great. Since in the 80s he took over the mantle of the Flash from Barry, it's only fitting that he narrates it similarly to how Barry was the key figure of Crisis on Infinite Earths. It's primarily a Flash story because it deals with the circumstances that caused the New 52 in the first place. From what I gather, it looks like they're taking a smart approach of bringing back some of the older and beloved characters in history from the pre-Flashpoint universe, but also seamlessly blending it with a lot of the stuff that was well received within the New 52. A lot of the New 52 still needed vast improvements, and I think this approach is a good way of doing it. I've noticed from the titles checklist that in the soon-to-be-relaunched Justice League, the team questioned this new Superman, which is in fact the one from the previous continuity who made his way into this universe during Convergence, and has been in hiding up until now and decides to make himself known in the wake of the New 52 Superman's demise. Confusing, isn't it? Among the other titles to be released is Batgirl and the Birds of Prey, which now has another Oracle alongside Barbara Gordon as Batgirl. Any of you long-time viewers of mine may remember I did an episode on the Birds of Prey about three years ago where I bitched incessantly about the New 52 title. That was where I dropped that title and many others in the relaunch. Now, I mention this because I'm completely out of the loop as regards what has been happening in the DC Universe since then, so I don't know if in this new Birds title Oracle is Barbara from the previous universe or an entirely new character taking up the name. As far as the other titles that I'm interested in are concerned, some caught my eye. Batman looks great, but as I've been saying for a long time, Batman generally is always going to be quite good. I can't remember or name an abysmal run on the character, though I'm sure some of you will be able to name a few. Be sure to let me know in the comments. Action Comics looks pretty good too, because it has Lex Luthor headlining it. I've heard his villainous ways have subsided somewhat, so it's clear to say this won't be a throwback to the Black Ring, which was an excellent Lex Luthor story where he scoured the Earth for the Black Lantern energy to obtain more power. I may have to review that at some point, actually. Overall, I was very impressed with DC Rebirth. It felt like a big apology for the New 52. I mean, it won't undo everything, and it certainly won't please everyone, but me being the selfish bastard that I am... I'm happy with it. I'm going to give this a go, but I'll start with Justice League and Superman, and if it all goes well with those, maybe I'll give the new Birds title a shot, as well as a few other ones. Some of these titles will have already come out by the time this episode airs, so I just need to get my wallet in gear and head on over to the comic shop. There's a great one here in Brighton by the name of Dave's Comics, so I'll head on over there and pick them up. Then I'll give you my first impressions of them. Thank you all for checking out this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you all for your comments and suggestions as well. I'm paying attention to those because I want to make stuff that will keep you watching my show. I'm also going to release an upload schedule calendar soon. This will let you know what episodes I have planned next, while some episodes similar to this will crop up as I'm going to give current DC and Marvel continuity a try, as well as a few other series from other companies. Anyway, thanks again for watching, listening, whatever you want to call it. I'll see you soon.